Alright, hey guys, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this glossy web 2.0 text. Um, so, yes, I'll show you how to make this. I did this all in Adobe After Effects. Um, only, I'll be, only Adobe After Effects. So, let's go ahead and open Adobe After Effects. See, this is my second time doing this tut. So, um, just go ahead and make a new composition. We'll just tell, call this um, text. Enough. Sounds good. Now uh, make it any length, whatever size and whatever. Okay. Um, now what you want to do is go ahead and make a new uh, solid. Okay. New solid. Make it the same comp size, and we'll make it white. And okay. Now you want to make another solid that is black this time same comp size everything like that now you want to click on the rectangle tool and drag down to ellipse cool so click and hold and go to eclipse double click on eclipse and it should have there we go made this cool ellipse here now we want to change this to subtract and come down here, change the feather a little bit out. I don't know how much is good. Probably about here, and we'll change the opacity down a little bit more. Right here. All right, so now that is our background, those two. Okay, let me just blue. I like blue for our background. Okay. Now we will add the new text, so layer new text, or just use the text tool, whichever one you want. And um, let's find a cool font, I don't know. That's cool. I really like Calibri, I don't know why. It didn't do what it should have. It's Calibri. Alright. Calibri, and we'll make the text, I don't know, just about that grayish color. And now we want to duplicate that, so Command D or Control D, whichever one. Change back to the selection tool, and click, hold shift, and drag down. Why is my drag and then? What the heck is going on? Okay, whatever. Just drag it down so it's down here. Now click this little arrow, go down to transform. Um, Click on the little anchor here, or the chain, I guess. And now you can move these without doing that. So you want to change the second value to negative 100. I'll flip it upside down. And it'll drag this up. Let's zoom in a little bit here. I don't know. What about here? Sounds good, sure. Zoom back out. And now what we want to do is effect generate where am I or generate and ramp and now what you want to do is change this color click on a little eyedropper here click around here and black is alright so now you can drag this one down to about here let's change this to 640 so it's in the middle exactly and we will change this one here oops wrong way move it up about there and I'll just change the opacity down a bit more looks about like that seems good to me and now for that little glossy effect we will get rid of these duplicate the first text command D or control D and we will put it on the very top Change the color to a lighter gray or whichever color. Go about this one. And now you want to select the pen tool. And let's zoom in a bit. Let's go out here. Click somewhere over here. Click and hold so you get this little curve. Something like that. Maybe over here. Over here. Drag up. And back over. So now that is a cool effect. If you want to um, feather that out maybe a little bit, 
go into masks, mask one, and add a little feather to it. It's pretty good there, I think. Switch back to the selection tool. That looks pretty good. Um, thanks for watching. This is how to make that cool text. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll probably have another video out next week or the end of this week. Um, how to get HD quality in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Probably said that like three times already, but whatever. Just do it. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching.